the lad. Let's hear from him then. Tommy Fury, the victor. Radio Rahim here with Tommy Fury. You have every right to shed these tears of victory, of glory, of joy. You've done something for your family. You've done something for your name. You are more than a contender. You are a warrior. Talk to me about the feelings pumping through your heart at this very moment. For the past two and a half years, this is all that's consumed my life. Broke rib, denied access, and everybody thought, everybody thought I was running scared. Tonight, I made my own legacy. I am Tommy Fury. I want to dedicate this fight to my new baby girl, Bambi at home. My missus, I love you. I can't wait to see you. This fight was for you. It's better for you, Bambi. I love you. This was no easy fight. It took everything in you, all your heart, grit, and soul, even to get up off the canvas. How much was inside you when you stu stood up off the canvas and finished this fight? All the way through these two and a half years, I had a dream, I had a vision I would win this fight. And no one believed me. Now I can stand up and everybody can take no. It was my first main event, 23 years old. I had the world on me. I had pressure on my shoulders and I came through. I know your goal is to be a world champion, but this belt around your shoulders right now must be awfully sweet. This to me is a world title fight. I trained so hard for this. This was my destiny. This was my fate. I want to thank Saudi Arabia for having me. I love you all. Thank you all for turning out. We guys, we did it. We did it. Now, now we know that Jake Paul has a rematch clause. He may want to do this again. If so, will we see you again in this ring for another war of this magnitude? 100%. This is my first main event. I'm only going to go stronger. I'm only going to go bigger. And I'm only going to go better. There's a lot of nerves coming to here. I override that. If he wants a rematch, bring it on. Thank you for showing up and giving us all you had. Congratulations on an incredible win. Radio Raheem with Tommy Fury. You finally get to put this feud to rest. How are you feeling after the way it went? A tougher fight than you expected. Tears of joy, tears of joy, honestly. Jay Paul was a true warrior. He was a better man than I thought he was, but at the end of the day, this is the only thing that's consumed my life for the past two and a half years. It's for everybody that said I couldn't do it. I had no one in my corner. Everyone thought I was running scared. It's for Bambi, my, new, my newborn daughter, my missus at home. I love you so much, and Daddy can't wait to see you. This is for you, my baby. Talk to me about that round eight knockdown. Did it surprise you, shock you? What were you feeling at that moment? I'll be honest, there's no excuses coming from me. That wasn't a knockdown, that was a slip. That was genuinely a slip. I got up, I wasn't hurt. I came right back into it. That was a slip. He did have a few shots to the body and even a couple of left hooks. Was he tougher than you expected? Do you rate him as a boxer now? Yeah, 100%, he took some good shots. At the end of the day, he's far better than I thought he was. OK, so where does this fight take you? Does he deserve a rematch? It was a close fight. If he wants a rematch, he can have a rematch. At the end of the day, there was a lot of pressure coming in on this. I dealt with it. I'm 23 years old, and I, and I, I got the world on my feet. You do get a WBC ranking out of this. So what do you want next, Tommy? What do you want for the rest of your year? I want to see my baby girl. I want to see my missus and spend some time at home. And just finally, your Fury clan all came out. All of this for you, for Jake, headlining. How much have you enjoyed it all? Oh, I love everybody. Thank you so much for turning out. It's been the best night of my life, and everybody came. My family's here, my friends are here. It's a great night for TNT. Congratulations, Tommy. Thank you. God bless.